Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and welcome back on the 25th anniversary of their national championship season, the 1987 Miami Hurricanes. talk about it as a game of inches and then we put together that season where we were just just about perfect number three the hurricanes of miami take on number four the seminoles of florida state playing a team like florida state as talented as they were in tallahassee you know that was a difficult chore it's going to take all of us to beat that team in garnet and gold, they're, they're as good as it gets, and we, we're, we're going to have to fight them and fight them, and there's no way we're losing. The atmosphere was incredible. We'll have a crowd in excess of 63,000 watching today in a game that will carry ramifications as far as the national championship is concerned. We were in for the fight of our lives. A sweet grab. He cannot get the corner. Deion Sanders, the All-American corner, was there to hold him down, and they exchanged pleasantries. He had heard he was All-American caliber, but he has been great. Oh, tremendous defensive play by Bill Hawkins, number 54. They had a, a great game plan on the offensive side of the ball, so they were controlling the clock. Great run by Smith. He breaks free. Goodbye. Oh, a tremendous tackle. He caught him. We weren't getting a lot of opportunities in that first half. I really struggled. We struggled running the ball. There wasn't a whole lot we could do. The fullback has been the short yardage first man for the Seminoles. Here he comes, behind the middle of the line with a second effort for the score. We got down in the game, and, and we could have quit then, you know, but there was no quitting these guys. I was pissed off at halftime. I kind of got up in halftime and, and kind of gave Gave the, the defense a fit and say, man, you guys, let's get it going. I was, I was psyched. I was pumped up. All right, what are we coming back? We coming back. And they power Bennett for the first down. Bennett to the 46-yard line with Selwyn Brown bringing him down. And now temper is starting to flare down on the field. The ebb and flow is important in any football game. Well, the momentum has switched over to Miami side. Between the third and the fourth quarter, interesting that every player on the Miami sideline put up four fingers and saluted every other player. They, and I asked them what it meant, they say, we win in the fourth quarter. Florida State with the wind at their back. McManus to put it up. Intercepted. Intercepted by Danny Stubbs. The big man comes up with the key turnover. The play that everybody thinks about is the one that Mike caught down the sidelines. Here it's 19 all, 2.30 to go. Miami with possession. Steve lines up. I go wide right. We got a 10 yard out call. A 10 yard out. All we were looking for is another first down. And a third down. All those moments I spent with Steve Walsh in Minnesota, and all the times we had worked on those hand signals, it was for the moment like this. Urban's got it. Urban's free. Urban's gone. Touchdown, Miami. And I remember the coaches running down the sideline with Mike. It was a kind of a signature game you know, for the Miami Hurricanes, we were bound and determined we weren't going to get beat. And now it comes down to this. You'll watch the play and you'll see what happens. No good. The gamble fails in Tallahassee. It was when we knew that, you know, sometimes it, it may take luck, but if you keep fighting, good things will happen for you. So Mel Bratton and the Hurricanes stage a dramatic comeback here in Tallahassee. It was the divine moment that basically portrayed us all season. We persevered, we counted on one another, we never gave up, and in the end, we came out victorious. That set the precedent for our season. And anybody else that got in our way during that season didn't have, just didn't stand a chance.